Okay, hi everybody. Here's a picture of my client's house, their front porch. They wanted the railings replaced and also the box columns replaced because they were um, rotting out at the bottom pretty bad and they just wanted to be done with it and have a product that would never rot again. So we settled on a product from Versatex called Versa Wrap, which are PVC wraps. It's PVC material that comes in a flat sheet and you wrap it around the post and use some glue and fasteners and you're done. They come in different sizes for nominally sized posts for four by fours or six by six, eight by eight, I think 12 by 12. Well, my client wanted an eight by eight look, but we weren't going to put eight by eights on the, on the porch because that would be complete overkill. So I went with six by six cedar because at the time cedar was actually about the same or cheaper than pressure treated. And it only required me building out the columns with a uh, one by and a two by on the other side in order to reach the eight by eight post from a six by six. So on this project, believe it or not, most of the time was spent building out the posts and having blocking at three feet where the railings would uh, need to be attached. So onto the installation. The first thing you're gonna need to do is cut them to length, or in this case, to height. They come folded over flat, so you can cut them in the box or you can put them down on some saw horses and, and cut them flat, they're very easy to cut. And then they just fold back out um, to the full sheet, four sections, you can see it there. So now it's ready for gluing. You're gonna spread glue on two of the seams adjacent to one another and then fold them up. And they're gonna just sit like that with two of the seams that are glued and they're gonna cure a little bit like uh, PVC glue on a pipe. It takes you know, maybe 30 seconds to cure up and then it's gonna start to harden. They recommend this uh, Weldon 705, which is a white PVC cement. It's a little different consistency than what you get with plumbing PVC. Uh, I believe it's paintable and it's the same color as the PVC Versatex material. So if it spills out, it's not gonna look funny. And it's also supposed to not fade. It's also paintable. Um, it's, it's, it, and it's got a longer set time, but you just, you glue up the two seams and you fold it over like that. And the weight just kind of keeps it there and, and makes it, uh, until, until it cures, until you're ready to put it around your, your board. They also make, uh, this Christie's white hot, which is a little, you can get more, uh, detailed with it. It's a little easier to control. Uh, the cure time is a little different, um, but I'm not I'm not sure which one I prefer. Uh, that the Christie's was a little less sloppy, um, and if I do it again, I'd probably get a, a smaller applicator for the weld on so that I can control it better. But they both work, and you can kind of choose which one you want to choose. You can see that you just. These are the trim pieces, but it's easier to show you the glue because I don't have a camera person and I'm doing all this with one hand, but that's all it does. And you can see the tape, which I'll show you later that they, they use to hold all the pieces together. But again, you just slop on some glue. You can see that applicator is a little too thick for these. It, it gets a little sloppy. Uh, so I might want to get or you might want to get a smaller applicator or just go with the Christie's uh, white hot if you, uh, if you think that's better for your application. But here I am with no cameraman trying to <laughs> show you guys. That's all you do. And then you, you know, these are all the trim pieces that I'll, I'll show you later, but I, I just glued them all up and let them sit kind of a little production style.
Then you want to go in with some kind of scraper. I used a putty knife and you, you want to get the excess out of the seams because these trim pieces need to fit around the columns. So if there's anything in the corner, it's a pretty tight fit. Um, it's going to block you from folding them all the way around perfectly. So you want to get some of the excess out. So now you have a U shape on the column with two corners glued up. So you slide that around your post and then you're ready to fold over that other side. You're going to glue up the other miter corner and you're going to glue up the locking miter joint and push it together. You can use a scrap of wood and a hammer or a dead blow hammer. I used a rubber hammer with duct tape wrapped around it to protect the PVC. Here's a better look at how it wraps around the post and kind of hinges together there with the last side. Everything else is glued up. You glue these two corners, push them together, and then use your mallet or whatever to tighten that gap. And then you can use some sandpaper to clean up that edge. Here's one of the coolest things about this uh, kit is it the, the OG trim comes with little dovetailed joints with these little dovetail pins that just stick right in the, the corners. They're like little locking pins and you don't need any glue. Uh, you really don't need any nails or anything. It just wraps right around the column and sticks together. Uh, it's really, really, really cool. There's some pretty detailed instructions when dealing with the tape. They make it sound like it's really difficult, but basically you want to pull it straight down or straight up at a sharp angle and you want to take it off uh, before four hours and you definitely don't want to leave it sitting out in the sun uh, for longer than, than that because it'll, it'll bake it on there and it'll be really difficult to remove. I forgot to mention about fastening. These wraps are actually pretty rigid when they're all boxed in and glued together. I've heard some guys use finish nails. I just use screws up, up into the top into the blocking that I made and also into the bottom where they'd be hidden by the accent wraps. One thing about the trim, they call them accent wraps and they come 10 inches high, which I thought was a little out of proportion for these columns. Um, and it didn't match very well with the ones that were there before. So basically, I bought six accent wraps, used four of them on the bottom, and I actually cut an inch and a quarter off the bottom ones to use for that little piece at the top. With the remaining two, I cut them in half, and it gave five inches for the ones at the top. So just like you cut the column wraps to whatever height you need, you can get creative with the accent wraps and cut them to fit your design.